yard. Now, it doesn't quite look like that right now, but it will soon. See that crazy uh, ornamental grass? I got that from Philip Watson. Look how big it is now. You have been at my yard recently because we had pictures the other day of you and me in my yeah, yard. Yeah, with the hydrangeas. Yeah. It was so much fun. There's my goose house. And uh, those guys are uh, actually very thrilled that the snow is melting. Um, here's my card right here. <laughs> All right, so we, we like to pop in pictures of my landscaping throughout our garden party shows, especially when Philip's here, because he's helped me do a lot of it. And, of course, Philip Watson is a horticulturist and a landscape designer who has designed some very, very famous people's homes and yards, um, as well as some very not-so-famous people like me. And uh, you do just as great of a job with everybody. So Thank you. I love you. Thanks for Thank being you. here. Pleasure. Thanks Mwah. for inviting me. So uh, we're going to talk about Philip's favorite mini rose. And you don't say favorite very often. No, and this is it. Yeah. Because I found this teddy bear mini rose. This, by the way, it, this is the one that, that we lead off with. This is teddy bear. I found it in South Africa uh -huh. 12 years ago, wow. and it was absolutely not available anywhere in the United States. And it took me this long to get it here, uh -huh. but I was determined. It is exquisite. I and love it. Look, look Mr. Bear, bear. Mr. Bear heard that there was a party, so he came oh, out of hibernation. Oh, he's so sweet. I love that you brought a teddy bear for me because you know I collect them. I know you do. These, I said on Facebook today, I, I get to have three of my favorite things in the show today. Mini roses, teddy bears, and Philip Watson. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. So look at all the colors yeah, you get. Gorgeous colors. You don't have to pick. You're getting all six of these. And these are new and exciting, mm. non-stop blossoms. And by the way, these are a great investment, particularly in the style department. Oh yeah. Because look at the colors that we've got in this collection. And they're great in containers. They're also great in the ground. And I love mini roses. Yeah, well, when you put them in the ground, they really go to town. And if you put them in a container, you can kind of control their size. But either way, you're gonna get tons of blooms and right. thick foliage. So weeds don't cut through these. Uh, they don't ever look scraggly like some roses, you know, with a flower on the end of a long twig. I can't stand uh, a ratty look. No ratty look in here. By the way, we started the season with 5,000 sets of these and we have well over uh, half of our quantity spoken for. So this is it for the season on these. Fewer yeah. than I think around 2,000 now to go around. So grab a few sets yeah. because these are perfect, as you said, in pots, in smaller gardens. They can fill in the blanks in larger gardens. Precisely, I love and, them. and they're so easy to plant. This, by the way, if you've always wanted to give somebody a teddy bear, this is a floral way to make that tribute. Oh, well, baby, won't you be my, my teddy, teddy bear? Teddy bear. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we have um, the pink. You're well, getting lavender. Exactly, and we've got the reds with the reverses on here. We'll go through the names of them, but I'm telling you what, this is called Teddy Bear's Rainbow, and you can see why we call it that. You've got every color you can possibly imagine in this collection, and these never stop blooming beautiful foliage and also gorgeous non-stop blossoms and y'all said y'all wanted a lot more color this year and the rainbow well, absolutely brings it. I mean my goodness there is not one color missing here from my favorites. You've got that creamy sort of yellow that has the peach edges. I love that one and look at that. How pretty is that? It's really really beautiful. Next door I had these pink roses in my wedding bouquet. Can you imagine how gorgeous these were? And by the way that was Rainbow's End that you started with and that's why I put it on the end right there. I love there. it. Look at and these that, pink ones. This one right here that one's called Cupcake right there oh, and it's like pink frosting. I love it. An incredible look and this one right here is Vise Violet. Well Marie Osmond loves these lavender roses yes, she does. and they're her favorites. I totally agree. They're and gorgeous. the most fragrant. Yeah oh that's right. They're absolutely the most fragrant. And how about these like hot orange. That is fireworks. Wow. And you can see that this is one of the big colors right here for the season. Mm -hmm. And this one right here, I'm crazy about this one. This one's called iced raspberry. Ooh. And if you notice, in fact, I just got to pick one off and show you because this They're one white is on really, the outside. Look, it's got it's got the red. Let's take a look down here. See that red right there? Mm -hmm. Beautiful deep red right there. Yeah. And then on the reverse, Pretty. it's white. It's got a oh white reverse gosh, on here, so it's gorgeous. incredible looking. Listen, I've purchased lots of, well, there's one more. I'll, I'll hold my thought till this we is, get to the last one. Honey, this is Teddy Bear. Teddy Bear. This is the one that I love. This is Mr. Teddy Bear right here. The teddy bear <laughs> loves these roses. He came out of hibernation for these. This is the one I discovered in South Africa 12 years ago, and we go out to the rose breeders. So I see these in California. They have hundreds of them in bloom, and I pointed out, I said, is that teddy bear over there? And they said, yes, how did you know that? And I said, because nothing looks like teddy bear. Okay, look what you're getting. It's a huge rose plant already. But look how small that, uh, the, can you hold my bouquet? Yes, ma'am. Teddy bear. Uh -huh. All right, so I just want to show you 
when you get this, mind there's a couple little thorns on there. Um, this is all the bigger of a hole you have to dig or put in your, look, that's why these are great for a window box. Yes. Hello, I'm always looking for window right. box plants. Or a small planter like your deck railing planter, these can go in there, or certainly in the ground or any size flower pot. But you could dig a hole that size with like a cereal spoon. Yeah. You don't even need a garden tool. Absolutely. They're so easy to They're plant. They're so easy to plant, and the more sun you give these, the, uh, mm -hmm. the more blooms you can have. Mm -hmm. If you do have them in containers, you know what you can stick in here? Solar lights or that dwarf wind spinner. I know how Gorgeous great. Gorgeous in it. Can I just tell you, I'm putting these in a window box. I'm adding a window box yes. to my upstairs window above the garage door. Yes. How cute is that going to be? Be gorgeous, and you'll have all of these colors. There's that Vise Violet, uh, the one that is like the Marie Osmond rose, but mm -hmm. in a smaller version yes. of that one. Uh -huh. Extremely fragrant. And if you love a classic uh, mixed up one, the Rainbow's in. That's we got great. that one coming up, and I love, I love this one because if you look closely, look at the yellow edges on this yeah. red rose. And as it opens up, you see more of the yellow. You see more of the yellow. It's, it's incredibly like, beautiful. It's gilded on the edges yes. of it, uh -huh. and which is just a fantastic look. And, teddy, and is that teddy bear? There is my teddy bear teddy right bear. there, and I'm crazy about this it's one. So cute. It is really an unusual rose. This is the only mini rose, by the way, I have in my garden. When I discovered it, I had the breeder ship me a dozen of them, uh -huh. and I had this in my garden. So these, these are great gift so, idea. They add so oh much color, gosh. and they're so easy to plant. Please get these. We're down to 1,200 left, and then they're gone for the season. Yes, exactly. Iced raspberry is red and white. It's white on the reverse, which is just a fantastic look. So the, the older it gets, the better it looks. These are nonstop blooms, and here is that beautiful cupcake, That's which is like- That's my wedding bouquet rose. Frosted pink icing. It's so pretty. It is. I actually, I should show you that I preserved it under one of those um, sealed glass oh, yeah, domes. Yeah, yeah. I'll show right. you. It's exactly those babies. We're ending They're with so fireworks. Pretty. How gorgeous is that? Uh -huh. And fireworks is that big, bright, uh, sort of a corally orange color. Or, or the honeymoon after the wedding. There you go. Uh -huh. But here, look, here, look at this, what Philip has done with this. Is this your yard? No, this is not my yard, okay. but this is down at Cottage Farms. Look how pretty and that is. We've got these all planted together, so you can see it's a kaleidoscope of color. If you're a first time gardener. And these fill in so fast. They get that big this year. These do not yes, take long do. to grow. So don't, oh gosh, Stan just told me these are not going to last. Hurry, hurry. Oh my goodness. Get it's my teddy favorite. Bear. Don't miss my teddy bear. Oh, it's my teddy signature teddy rose in my garden. Teddy, teddy, bear, teddy, bear. teddy bear. And oh, I know we shouldn't be singing an Elvis song, but you but just have to sing it a little it. bit. <laughs> so you guys, come on now. Yeah. You're getting one, two, three, four, five, six of the most gorgeous mini roses, big blooms, full of foliage, easy to plant. They get this big this year in a window box or a pot, or put them in the ground, they'll get even bigger. They absolutely do. And they these come back get, every year. Every year, these get about three and a half feet tall, and be mm -hmm. sure to pick up our bud and flower booster for roses. Yes, get the because rose Because they version. love to be fed about every third watering, and they're gonna rock, but there's my teddy bear. There's my teddy there's bear. There's my teddy bear, but Aww. Th This is a signature piece for the entire collection. You'll love this. They're all gone. I know it was the Elvis song that did it. it that's what did Not it. Not really. Thank you so much. You're gonna love this. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, and I love you. Mm -hmm.